Hey everyone, I found this really black looking rock today and do I know what it is? Nope. Are we going to see if it shines? <laughs> yeah. I find a stone and take it home and polish it and hope it shines and also there's a chicken. Ah! Hey again everyone, this is Clayton and like I said, I found this really black rock today. I mean... And amongst all the other rocks that I have laying around out there, this one was like jumping out at me going, Hey, pick me, pick me. Well, actually, no, it wasn't jumping up and down, but you, you know what I mean. So let's take a look at this. It's, it's very solid. I mean, it doesn't have any fissures or anything in it. And when it was wet, I mean, look at that. Woo! That is like super super dark so I don't know what well here we got something going on here looks like there's some layers right in there I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not but that's like the only how would you say distinguishing characteristic about it so I say we distinguish this over onto the wheel and take it down a little bit and see what we get I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and that was actually pretty darn fast. Um, dry off, there we go. Well, the stone is very, very black. I mean, I got myself a flat side on here. And put a little bit of an edge around it. And as you can see, it's black. It's very, um, it's very black. <laughs> Let me see, dry it off a little bit. Oh, now it's very gray. But I, that's just from the tooling marks. Huh, <sighs> well. So I guess all we can do now is get this on a on a stick and see what else I can do with it. And why is there rice sticking to everything? Uh, that should be that might be too big. Oh, I may have to get a tinier stick. Do we have tiny sticks? Oh, of course we have tiny sticks. Okay, that's the stick we're gonna use. That's the alcohol lamp we're gonna use. All I need now is something to light the thing, and I can't find it. Okay, we found it. I know where that got to. Alrighty. Ah. Let's see, we get some good wax on there. I'm having a lot, a lot better luck with wax lately. I almost hate to say that and jinx myself. But, you know. But the longer you do something, the better you get at it. Hopefully that is. I'll dry this stone off and see how, how gray it gets. How many shades of gray is this stone? Oh. I've been trying to think of different things to do with stones other than cutting them, because I don't know if there's something else that anybody would like to see done. If there's anything anybody would like to see done, you know, just leave it in a message. Tell me about it. You know, how ouch! Okay, come on, come on, stay on there. Da -da -da -da. Oh, if you want to see me burn myself, you've nearly seen it today, and I know you've seen it some other times. The stone seems to be fairly soft, which is sort of a good thing. And we can get her polished up pretty quick. I have no clue, none, what this might be. I mean, when I get most of my rocks like out at landscaping, landscaping areas or bags of landscaping rocks, and you, you don't know what they are. Sometimes you can figure it out. Other times it's like, whoo-hoo! 
What is this? I don't know, but it's pretty. And that's what makes it... That's all it counts, is prettiness. You know, I don't think that it has to be some kind of major expensive gemstone to be put into a piece of jewelry and look pretty. I mean, if you're going to buy a piece of costume jewelry, you know that's not real. So what's the difference between that or something that you don't know what it is? Like this. All right, we're docked and it's going to stay on. I know it is. So let's get this over onto the wheel and get her domed up. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Okay, that was pretty quick. And, uh, take a look at it. It looks very solid. I got a little bit of undercut there on the side, but, and on this side, just the hair. But I still think I'm going to work that stone the rest of the way. And maybe afterwards, trim the back down a little bit, make because it is kind of high. I can make a nice dome on it, and then maybe trim the back down a little bit, maybe millimeter two millimeters something like that but there it's starting to dry out as you can see it's very very gray well oh i'm getting dizzy very gray so apparently i got all the spots oh except for right there hmm and it doesn't seem to have any fissures or cracks or any other kind of gobbledygook in there which is a good thing so, I guess the next thing to do, 500 grit, big cup of coffee, and let's start a polishing on this thing. Maybe a little more water. There we go. I'm going to be a little gentle because this is where I end up losing these all the time. But I don't think I'm going to have to push much on this stone. It's very... It's not very soft, but it's... Soft. And it's very uniform. Even though it's soft, it seems very dense. Which is a great thing. So I'm going to work on this for a bit. And I will be back when we've got her nice and smooth. And see if it's going to be a shiny. Okie dokie, let's see what we got here. Not taking long whatsoever for this. Well, it's drying out faster, but it's not getting as gray, which is a good thing. That means we're getting some polish. Got that little area on the side there and there that's not, but like I said, we're going to probably cut that, bring that back up once I get this whole thing straightened out. Now, if you look closely, you can't see much of anything. Hmm. But it's looking nice. Oh, so, I think that's not enough with the five. So you know what that means. I'm going to pull out the thousand grit. Clean this up. Look at that. It's like an aerial view of the earth. Woo! I'll clean this up. I'll be right back. Hookie dookie. We're all cleaned up. Yep, one thousand grit. Little spritzy on there. Look at that. The drought has ended. The rains have come. Oh boy. Let's just get this thing polished up and see what we got. Now let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Well, it's drying off faster. And it's looking less gray, but it's still looking very black. So, but it is starting to shine. I mean, look, that's definitely getting the shine to it. Oh, well, let's finish taking what little bit of marks are maybe off of there. And then we'll have to hit it with the cerium oxide. Mmm, kidoki. Well, that's starting to look shinier. Er. We've got... Wow, I don't think there's any undercutting on that at all. And we've got a nice matte finish so far. Hi, Matt. But I think this is ready for the cerium oxide. Boy, this one's going quick. Now let me get this cleaned up. Take it over to that wheel and see how it looks. Okay, I am back. And this 
Your stone is definitely the super black stone of dark black blackiness. I mean, here, take a look at this. That is so shiny, ebony, dark black foreverness with a little bit of variation thrown in here and there. Hmm. I'm I'm really liking it. I got no clue what this is. It's not it's not got onyx. I I cannot imagine that this would be onyx. Maybe some type of obsidian? I don't know. Have a little bit of a variation in the color right here. Not sure if you can see that or not. It's right in this area where the shiny is hitting. Anyhow, let me get this off the stick. Let me see, is it gonna oh it comes off the stick pretty easy. Let's clean the excess wax of waxiness off of there. Super waxed wax of waxy waxiness. Okay, got that cleaned off. Alrighty, so let's take a look at her like that. Like I said, it's ebony black. Or black ebony. Or black stone of blackiness. And like I said, I think I'll just take and maybe take some of this bottom off a little bit and make it maybe about... Mm, not quite two millimeters, maybe a one and a half millimeters off of there. About three sixteenths of an inch, maybe. But this stone is whew, pretty darn awesome. I mean, that's some super shiny shininess. So I can honestly say that this, this here black stone of black ebonyness is a win. So if you like the video, you know, hit that button down there, subscribe, like us. And I'll be back with more, more videos. So thanks for spending some time with me and have a good evening.